It was a contentious face-off in the Sunshine State. And, and by that's the way, the not true. Lying and the How cheating, gullible the lying do you think, Florida? The lying is the next. Republican Senator Marco Rubio sparring with his Democratic challenger, Congresswoman Val Demings, in their first and only debate that aired on ABC affiliate WPBF. She's been in Congress for over half a decade. She's never passed a bill. I'm really disappointed in you. A Marco Rubio, because I don't. I think there was a time when you did not lie, in order to win. The two at odds over gun control. Asked about raising the legal age limit to purchase assault-style weapons, the type of firearms used in the Parkland and Uvalde mass shootings. Denying the right to buy it is not going to keep them from doing. The, here's the fundamental issue. The fundamental issue is why are these kids? Why are these people going out there right, and sir, massacring people? Because a lot of people own AR-15s and they don't made. kill everyone. People who are families of victims of gun violence just heard that, and they're asking themselves, what in the hell did he just say? You've done nothing, nothing, to help address gun violence and get dangerous weapons out of the hands of dangerous people. But the night's tensest exchange came over abortion. Rubio has backed a 15-week nationwide abortion ban. I believe that innocent human life is worthy of the protection of our laws. That said, every bill I've ever sponsored on abortion, every bill I've ever voted for, has exceptions. The extremist on abortion in this campaign is Congresswoman Demings. Senator, how gullible do you really think Florida voters are? I think those decisions are made between the woman, her family, her doctor, and her faith. Across the country, at least 14 states have stopped nearly all abortion services. And with just three weeks to go until Election Day, the president putting the issue front and center, promising Democrats will protect access to abortion under federal law if they win enough seats this November. Together, we'll restore the right to choose for every woman in every state in America. So vote. You got to get out the vote. We can do this if we vote.